What's up, pussies? I'm the Heavy Metal Dick, and this is Heavy Metal Homesteading. And today, we are uh, continuing on with the uh, the beer dispenser operation. Today, we're going to be uh, we're going to be plumbing in all the lines because my buddy that runs the company that I got all the parts from that's going to help me troubleshoot if anything goes wrong. Is leaving out of town tomorrow, so we got to get this done ASAP. So the box isn't quite finished yet. I'm going to show you that in just a second. Um, and yeah, we're ready to get to plumbing this up. Okay, so here's the box. Um, this is the old drain with the old drain line. We're just going to reuse that. I uh, will eventually sink that into about here. Um, we're going to drill the taps into the front of this. We've got our, uh, our ice bucket sitting inside. And then uh, down in here in the cabinet, which again is not totally finished. I'm going to put wheels and shit on it and do some more work uh, once all the plumbing's sorted out. Is where the beer is going to sit. Um, two pony kegs and the gas can uh, and all the plumbing and shit's gonna run around through there. So we're gonna get to that plumbing right now and show you what uh, what parts we've got and go from there. Okay, so here's our giant clusterfuck of uh, parts. Um, so brand new gas regulator. Um, gas can goes on here. That's where the air comes out. Um, couplers and line. Uh, and this is the line that will go into the actual taps. The taps, which we uh, we took off in a previous video. Uh, air distributor, braided air line, smaller piece of braided air line with a reducer on it for that end. And then we've got a little cup there of reducers and couplers and bullshit. Ball valve, PEX elbow, PEX fitting that I hope I'm going to be able to use for the drain. Um, and then uh, just some some PEX, um, some PEX collars. So that's all the parts, the tools we're going to need. We might need a uh, pipe cutter to cut the uh, copper shorter if, uh, if something goes awry. Uh, channel locks, probably not going to need. Line cutter, we're definitely going to need. PEX clamps, we're definitely going to need. And then, um, I don't know what the fuck these pliers are called, but these are for these special little... These little fucking, come on you bastard, focus, focus, fuck you. Um, anyways, these PEX couplers, um, you crimp them at the top there on that little hat. And then, you make a seal. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hook up the, uh, the air regulator to the, uh, the air distributor. Um, and then the air lines um, to the couplers. Uh... And then we're going to head over to the box and start putting shit in the actual box, which I'm really excited about. So we're going to put a couple of these little guys on here. Hopefully I don't fucking run out of shit. That would suck penis. Well, shit fuck, boys and girls. Um, that's the size of line we need. That is not... Alright, I guess I'm going to have to go to the... Uh, Go to the old hardware store and get um, another one of them fucking their reducers when for we get to doing the lines. But for now, since we're on this program, we are going to just keep rolling because this this will work for what we need. Running off to get that fucking reducer will be later guys problem. Whenever you're working with these barbed fittings, you want to fucking jam them on. As good as you can, as far down as possible. Uh, sometimes gently, gently squeezing with a pair of pliers so you can give it a little twist is helpful. While applying pressure to the other end, somehow. So the coupler comes up to here, so we want to make sure that we hit our pipe clamp right smack in the middle of that. What for to make a good seal. So, coupler, coupler to there, pipe clamp right in the middle of the hose. Crimp a limp a ding dong. Whoop. Just until it's tight. There we go. And then this end's already smashed down, nice and good. So we're gonna give that another. Actually, before I get really excited about this, let's make sure that. Yes. Good. Okay, same thing. We're going to make sure that the clamps in the middle of the barb 
to make sure that the fitting is all the way in the hose line. Hoose! It's in the hoose! Alright. Okay, nice and tight. Tight like a tiger. And then I'm going to take my, uh, I'm going to reuse this piece of uh, braided airline because it's pretty clean. Um, so we're just going to take the braided airline that I got from Beer Bros. And we're going to fucking somehow figure out where the middle is. Middle. Here-ish. great thing about plumbing is it doesn't have to be perfect on your measurements. As long as they're close enough and things reach and whatever, you can have a little bit of extra hanging out where the fuck ever you want it to hang out. And life goes on. You gotta make sure when you're working fuck, with these PEX lines that you put your collar on before you try to jam the line on. Otherwise you're feeding the collar all the way from the other end. Pain in the dick. And if you've already attached the other end to something, well, boys and girls, you are, as they say, fat. Okay. That's that. Beer coupler. Gas in. Right there. Gas in. Gas. What did I just say about the fucking collars? Make sure you put them on the line first. Okay, collar on. Right in the middle of the barb. Squash. Squash it down. Ugh. Good! Yeah, it likes that. And then this, we're going to put onto that reducer that we needed to use for that. Okay. Crap that on. It's pretty quick, it's pretty simple. Once you, uh, once you get sort of what goes where. Okay. Gas regulator. Collar first. I've almost done that on every single joint. Okay, so now we are officially, we're gassed up. I'm just going to take a quick uh, measurement here on how much line I need. Because this thick line I'm going to use to go over the end of the copper pipe. Um, and then we're going to put on a reducer and then we're going to run this smaller line onto the actual tap. And I'm just going to do one for you guys. Uh, what for I need to go and get a reducer because I had to use that for that. Because the reducer that I had I thought was going to work didn't fucking work. You guys all saw that. This piece of shit. See you later. We're going to get one of the copper coils right here. Okay. Okay, so that does actually fit, which is good. So I'm going to give myself uh, about an inch over that just to make sure I get a good seal. So I'm just going to take off, oh, I don't know, about two, two and a half inches of the thicker line um, from the end of each of the tapolas. I had a mason jar here with some hot water in it. Um, just gonna put these pieces of line in there to get them nicely warmed up. Make them a little bit more malleable so that they, uh, Jesus, that's hot. So that they slide over the copper pipe easier. I'm just gonna get that. We want to try and slide that on as best we can, as far down as possible. We're going to take a half inch PEX ring. Okay, maybe we're not going to do a half inch PEX ring. I think I'm going to have to get uh, just a standard uh, screw on pipe clamp for that. I thought, uh, thought the half inch PEX ring was going to work. But it doesn't look like it will, so that's fine. Um, that'll be later guy's problem because I didn't get any of those while I was out getting the rest of the parts. 
Because I didn't end up going to the hardware store, I just went to see my beer guy. So, get this one on here. That one's on much better. I'm way more happy with that. Um, I'm just going to dunk that in there, let it heat up a bit more. Hopefully we can get something a little bit better happening. Okay. So now we're going to get this collar on here, the reducer in, that right in the middle, crimp it down. The smaller line here that's actually going to go on to the tap, like I said before, we're just going to, um, we're just going to buck this in half. Another small collar onto the other end of this reducer. This could probably use to get a bit of hot water on it too. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, because it doesn't want to move. So we're gonna leave that in the hot water. Let's get the other reducer on here. Clamp ring. Come on, you fuck. Get on there. Go. This is why you want to put them on first, so they slide off easier. Put that on first. Just like I told you at the start of the video. There we go. Crimp it on. Nice and tight. Okay, let's get that on there. Make sure our clamp ring is right in the middle of the barbs. Clamp that on. Nice. Okay. Well, fuckers, it's beer clock for me, so that's all the shit we're gonna fuck up today. So if you enjoyed watching me fuck that shit up, hit the like button. If you have any questions about how I fuck that shit up, or how you can fuck shit up, ask me in the comments section. Or if you think I'm an idiot, Fire that in the comments section too. And if you want to see me fuck up more shit, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Fuck you.